Okay, my friends, the time has finally come for me to show you the Baltic Aquascape Classic. Uh, I did an unboxing of this one a while back and I just haven't had the time to properly uh, feature it on the channel, but we're gonna do that today and I'm wearing the square today as you can see But let's focus on the Baltic watch I'm not gonna do a particular unboxing because I said I already did that we have some paperwork extra links a strap tool and actually we have some uh, a NATO and uh, I don't think these are original from Baltic these are just sent to me uh, from Zielko uh, I think that this is yep yeah, this is an original Baltic rubber strap as you can see we have some nice pattering there and uh, it's usually actually quite of a thin rubber strap because it's a vintage inspired watch I guess it's a little smaller watch we have Baltic written there, Baltic on the little clasp there, and yeah, looks great and feels smooth and nice. And we actually have the um, instruction book right there. Discover more on www.balticwatches.com. So we're just going to put this to the side and concentrate on today's beauty, the Baltic Aquascape classic blue gilt version eh, let's take it out of the box as you can see Baltic aquascape I think we're gonna I think that's pronounced aquascape yeah I think it is put that back down there close it up put it to the side and there we have it this is a nimble little watch with a nice vintage feel and it looks beautiful it took me a while to uh, actually appreciate the beauty of this watch because when I first opened it up I thought it was it's a it's a dark watch we have uh, we have that almost pitch black dial uh, I mean we have the almost pitch black bezel insert uh, and it's actually um, a sapphire bezel insert and then we have that really dark blue uh, ocean grave uh, like the mar I don't know, like a deep deep I don't know what it's called in English the mar mar mariner grave mariner grave you know the the deepest point that um, we have in an ocean let's just get it ticking here get it to uh, operate but we have that really dark blue and as you can see as uh, it plays with the light beautifully the dark blue dial uh, it's a beauty to behold and it's vintage inspired as you can see the hands are, we have that it's almost a mustardy yellow fake patina ish uh, color on the hands and the indexes it's a beautiful watch uh, and and it's classy and it's beautiful and it's quite small it's quite thin we have this right beads of rice bracelet looking good feeling extraordinary good and we have this thin and nice baltic clasp with a lot of micro adjustments and with the baltic name printed on it right there easy to access easy to open it's not a stamped clasp it's actually a milled clasp so it's a high quality clasp no it's actually i think this this might be a stamped clasp but this thingy here, the butterfly, f uh, the function here is milled, milled steel. Is this a stamped class? Actually, I, I just found out that I really cannot tell the difference if, if the clasp itself is, is stamped or milled because it's a, it's a thicker th clasp than on my uh, SKX uh, for an example, but it's not as thick as other clasps that I have. So it, either way, this is not stamped so here we have the case back we have a nice little diver there aquascape sapphire crystal baltic watches yeah easy you can easily remove the bracelet and put on that rubber strap or anything you like cool and nifty little watch 
So, specifics on this little vintage inspired diver. The movement inside of this one is the Mayota 9039. Uh, the watch is, uh, as you of course, made of 316L stainless steel all over the place. As you can see, it's uh, almost, it's, it is actually entirely brushed. We have some polished details like right beneath the bezel there. Uh, you can see a polished uh, section there, but it's all brushed all around. Uh, drilled lug holes, Baltic stamped on the crown there beautifully and as you can see the bracelet is a mix of brushed and polished looks really good and it feels fantastic on the wrist but anyway a little more specifications diameter 39 millimeters thickness 12 millimeters lug width is 20 millimeters and we have a lug to lug of 47 millimeters so it's a nice and nifty little watch when you wear it on your wrist it's a double domed sapphire crystal and it's a beautifully domed sapphire crystal as you can see you can see the domage going on giving you that vintage feel beautiful crystal and we have a unidirectional sapphire bezel and the sapphire bezel is great because it it doesn't give you that shininess if you don't like the shininess from a ceramic bezel and it gives you the scratch resistance so it's not uh, prone to get any scratches like an aluminum bezel so a sapphire is actually a really nice way to go as i said it's a uh, unidirectional and we're gonna take a listen to the action here here we go And as you might have heard, it's l quite loud. It gives you that uh, affirming sound when you turn it around. It, there's no, uh, no wobble or rattle between the clicks. It's spot on, uh, spot on aligned, correctly aligned. It's a really nice bezel to turn. It's quick, it's fast, it's just uh, the right amount of stiff and the right amount of loose and uh, it's perfectly aligned as you can see we have some let me see if i'm gonna i can catch it on camera something has happened on the bezel right on the bezel insert right there as you can see between the 12 o'clock and the one o'clock on the insert we have some kind of i don't know if it's uh, the sapphire uh, the color beneath the sapphire has somehow maybe scratched off or rubbed off but we have those little little tiny dots right there and you can see a lighter blue color underneath as you can see it right there on the bezel insert uh, I don't really don't know what that is and why it is so but uh, it is what it is it's uh, it's there I just had to point it out that it's there uh, anyway, uh, the water resistance is 200 meters and you get a two-year warranty if you buy this watch from Baltic. And actually, when we're talking about Baltic as a brand, I always uh, wanted to... Uh, I, you don't see these watches a lot. I mean, uh, you see them from, from time to time, but not a lot of people wear Baltic and it's... Um, I just when I saw them a couple of times I think they're beautiful watches I really wanted to feature them on the channel and um, my great friend Jelko he just sent me his one and I'm really happy for that but I, I'm, I was always wondering what kind of a brand is Baltic and actually uh, the name Baltic uh, comes from uh, the founder uh, and he, I'm gonna butcher this name but his name is Etienne Malik and uh, uh, <laughs> it's actually uh, uh, a f French uh, guy and he named the brand Baltic as a tribute to his father's origins and his father's uh, his father was actually from uh, uh, the north of Poland and uh, from some area along the Baltic Sea and he wanted to tribute his um, father so he named the brand from the place that it that his father was from and that's a 
really nice story because somehow uh, it goes for me but it might go for many of you we all have some many of us have memories uh, uh, connecting our fathers or grandfathers to watches or someone that we look up to or looked up to when we were kids and uh, who always wore a watch and, and that actually sparked the interest in watches from our side as well so it's a nice thing to see that a watch brand actually also has that history with watches his father was from uh, a, a, an area around the, the baltic sea and he wanted to tribute his father so he actually named his brand baltic a great story and actually the logo uh, for the brand is quite beautiful as well inspired from the past made for today that's a cool tagline so uh, <laughs> the Baltic Aquascape classic one thing that I really like about this watch is that it actually combines a combines a sandwich dial with a regular dial as you can see we're gonna zoom in a little here the three o'clock the six o'clock and the nine o'clock is uh, actually <laughs> A sandwich dial uh, the, we have a plate underneath and uh, uh, only on those hours we have that cut out and you can see the plate underneath all the other hour markers are actually painted on so it gives you that three-dimensional and it actually gives you uh, a little more than uh, a tr three-dimensional dial that a usual sandwich dial gives you because you actually have uh, three layers some of the numbers like the 12 and the other ones are on the dial and the three six and nine are actually beneath that's quite cool and the watch really gives you that vintage feel just by looking at it just by looking at this watch combined with that beads of rice bracelet it gives you um, the notion of it being an old watch which it isn't it's a new watch with a really great movement inside and uh, but still the looks they've knocked it out of the park with the looks because they wanted to make a vintage inspired diver and they actually made a vintage inspired diver here it is 20 centimeter wrist and I have a weak spot for these vintage inspired watches there's something with uh, combining the past with the present that is really appealing to me I guess that's why I uh, bought and kept the Tudor Black Bay GMT because I really liked the blending of the past and present I really fall for that uh, I like uh, indexes that are uh, patinated indexes I like the look I like the style I like the notion that the watch is new but it actually looks old because I, I uh, like old stuff but I really like this is gonna sound a little confusing I like old stuff but I really like it when it's new because having old stuff especially old and vintage watches they they're beautiful and they're really cool in every way but they also come with some problems and you have to know what you're doing when buying them and you have to maintain them and you have to take care of them in another way than than you I mean when you buy a new watch that's up to date with all the specs with all the gaskets with all the water resistance and everything it's a little more uh, you can use it a little more careless than you could a vintage watch so uh, vintage inspired watches I love it it's it's my kind of thing and the Baltic hair is just beautiful uh, what you'd have to pay to buy one of these 729 euros uh, that's the price of this baby and yeah it's beautiful it truly is I'm really happy that I got to feature this watch on my channel look at that perfect blend of almost totally brushed on the clasp and then we have just the polished sides just making it pop that little more and it's actually in reverse from the rest of the bracelet because here the outer side is brushed and the center is polished and then we're switching it on the clasp looks beautiful I'm gonna keep my eye on Baltic because they have some beautiful watches a cool history and uh, 
this is uh, the best thing with this watch is actually how it wears it feels really smooth on your wrist and uh, it feels like a vintage watch basically it feels like a watch that has been worn in it's so soft it's so delicious on your wrist and yet it's a new watch <laughs> it's not a new watch because it's not my watch it's actually a used watch but it's a new watch you know what I mean uh, it's a new 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 used watch uh, yeah and that's Baltic for you uh, Baltic aquascape classic okay guys here we go with the loom on the Baltic and as you can see this watch has actually quite good loom and it actually surprised me on a positive note because I thought it was a vintage inspired diver and it wouldn't be I mean it's a small watch it's a little classy the loom is not going to be great or anything spectacular and it's not it's not spectacular but it's really nicely applied it's legible this is from really far away and as you can see the hour and minute hand are more heavily applied uh, with loom so you can actually spot them a little more from a distance and when you come a little closer up you can see that yeah even the bezel insert is loomed and it's a really nice loom it actually fades away quite quickly everywhere except for that hour and second hand oh sorry our minute and second hand and for some reason the second hand is not ticking here i'm sorry about that i just haven't wound up the watch let's just give it a little shuffle see if we can get it going and there it is there we have it and as you can see the little dot on the second hand also has a little more heavily applied loom than the rest of the watch but it's cool and it was a positive surprise the loon on the Baltic. Anyway, as usual, what do you think of this watch? Do you like it? Do you think it's beautiful? Do you, have, do you own a Baltic watch? Have you experienced a Baltic watch yourself? Have you felt it on your wrist? Did you not know that Baltic has existed? Uh, tell me about it in the comments. And also tell me what you thought about the video. Did you like it? Please consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, did you like it really much? You don't have a two thumbs up option, but you can always subscribe. If you didn't like it, just give me that thumb down and just tell me what you didn't like. And I'm actually going to do my best to make a better video the next time. But until the next time, I hope to see you again. Have a nice evening. Bye bye.